This is John Harrigan from ImmortalNow.com, where we teach the secret to immortality. Volition, the word volition, means will. Someone shows something of their own volition. So volition means will, choice, and I would add to that meaning direction. So with volition you have will, choice, and direction. There's always a direction with will and choice. We're always, I suggest, choosing in a direction or a choice. Direction. We create ourselves in this world by volition, making choices, moving in a direction, consciously or unconsciously. I think so much of our choices are unconscious. They are choices that we may have never consciously made by ourselves. They may be beliefs passed on to us from other people at other times, generation after generation after generation. Things we think are absolutely true may be really simply choices made again and again. Choices that are institutionalized, choices that have resulted in physical results that seem totally real and unchangeable when everything that exists, and especially ourselves, our thinking, our bodies, our quality of life can be changed, improved, or made worse by choices we make and choices we accept that others have made for us. And with the secret to immortality that we teach, you know, the first part of three parts is mindfulness for immortality. We start to be aware about choices about beliefs about passively accepting something as true or passively accepting something as impossible i can't do that i'm not capable of that that's just the way things are life leads to death death is the natural outcome of life to the absurdity of calling it i think the cycle of the disney movies they call it the cycle of life it's so beautiful it's not beautiful at all if you've been to a hospital for any period of time, if you've had a loved one so quickly die, unexpectedly or slowly die, painfully, over a long time, or gone through that yourself and lived through it. Death in this world wrecks everything for everyone. Passively accepting death as an inevitable outcome of life allows us to never achieve our full potential. I don't care what path you're on and how much you think it leads to something great, if death is the end of that path, you are never required to reach your full potential. I promise you, think about it. You are never demanded of your life, of your soul, of yourself. You are never challenged with reaching your full potential as a human being, if that potential includes overcoming death. There are spiritual teachers throughout time, Kabbalah, Taoists to the mountains of China, Jesus Christ, who talk very specifically about overcoming death because I suggest to you, any truly wise person knows that death is horribly wrong. It's not this Disney-esque circle of life. What a horrible thing. Death is created by Conscious people choosing to kill and to kill and to kill. I suggest biologically it disrupts the balance of all existence, including our bodies and our lives. I wanted some like hell and brim fire there for you. Start to think about the reality as it is being quite terribly wrong. I suggest to you that all the inequities, all the hardships, all the wrongs of existence Human to human, animal to animal, plant to plant, and in nature itself arise from the consequence of death and killing. At all levels of life forms, death and killing, death and killing, death and killing, numb us out, constrict us. We can never really grow, become who we are. You might say, well, evolution, you know, creates that. What does evolution create? It's created a horrible world because we have evolved as killers in a killing creation where everything is chasing around everything else to kill it and eat it. 
without cooking or spices for the most part. Okay, the secret to immortality, the secret to immortality is about feeling better, getting to the core of compassion, love, and grace at the heart of all of us, the eternal core of who we are, that core consciousness, and physically living it out in our bodies and this world. I suggest to you the world, your bodies, and everything will change slowly or sometimes in an instant if we start to really own the idea that we are immortal beings living in a timeless reality that has us all faked out into thinking death's a part of life, killing's a part of life, death is a natural outcome of life. No, no, and no, let's get straight with this. Let's follow some spiritual masters that on every, in every end of the planet have talked about this issue even in yoga, what's the complete union? I suggest to you that the final point of yoga isn't passing on like a lot of really great, wonderful yoga masters do. Don't do it. Passing on is dissociation. And it's just flying into that cycle of death and rebirth, death and rebirth, or something else kind of like that. Death is a dissociation from ourselves. And we dissociate in so many ways. We push away from this. We push away from that. We deny this. We deny that. In all of these actions, we're denying ourselves, our true core, the beauty of who we are. If you're a Christian or you were even born in a Christian way, think about what Jesus was, was teaching primarily for the most part, even in the Bible, primarily about eternal life telling you how to live to get that. Believe in something, find a deeper you, a higher power, God of your understanding, whatever your religion is, or if no religion, I suggest the deep self, your deep being, and find in there that beautiful immortality, that grace, that love, that kindness, infinite love. We are in heaven right now, I suggest. Heaven is here as we are. Heaven is on earth, but we are the creators of heaven for the most part. And we've done a really lousy job. The world that we live in, I suggest, will do anything we ask of it. And what the world is doing is the world just gives us back what we've done. It's life in general. If you smile, people usually respond to you with a smile. If you frown, People usually respond to you with a frown. Nature, which is part of who, a living part of who we are, I suggest. I'm going to stop saying suggest. I'm just teaching you what I've experienced. Nature is a living part of who we are. As we act, nature gives that to us, but exponentially. So let's start acting better, acting kinder, looking at our own behaviors. That's mindfulness for immortality, too. The secret to immortality is Qigong for lasting life. Three is immortality coaching. All of that and, and most of that is avail available, available for free at our website, immortalnow.com. We have a, a very nice podcast. We have, of course, videos here on YouTube. We have a wonderful introductory course on the secret to immortality with Qigong videos. Look into that on our website in the menu. And we have a monthly membership, Immortality Lab, iLab. How about that? For short, of course, I everything in this era. iLab, Immortality Lab with weekly lessons, uh, private and exclusive to that lab, weekly lectures, and weekly original Qigong for longevity and Qigong for immortality lessons every week with Immortality Lab. Get to it, get going, be the person you always wanted to be. Maximum personal development, finding your full, absolute, and perfect. Find your absolute and perfect possibility at immortalnow.com. I really want y'all to go there. That's where you get this thing. This is my life mission, what I'm doing. And I'd like it to be your life mission. 
if it sounds like the right thing and sounds like what you want to do at immortalnow.com. That's all for today. Bless you and keep you. <laughs> Bless you and keep you. You are immortal now.